You guys might think I'm crazy, but I spent over 2 million coins on this offensive line. It sounds dumb, but I can guarantee you that it was worth it in my opinion. Now you might be wondering why the hell did I do that? Well, the reason is quite simple, because I wanted the best offensive line in the game. I will go into gameplay in a second, but the important thing for this one is that I have Ultimate Legends O-Line Chemistry. That means that if I have 8 out of 8 items on this, I get plus 7 agility, plus 8 speed, and plus 7, or plus 8 rather, acceleration. I don't know why I can't read numbers. It's early in the morning for me, guys, but this Marquis Pouncey, he's awesome. Look at these stats. First of all, 75 speed on a center. It's not the best, but you don't have 75 speed centers that are 304 pounds heavy and six foot four in height. That is just an amazing card. Pass blocking stats, it's through the roof. 98 run block is the worst stat uh, when it comes to blocking, and that still is like just about perfect. Also with the abilities, I have secure protector and post up, as you just see right here. We'll keep it moving. I know this sounds really stupid, you guys, but we're gonna go into gameplay in a second and you'll see why it matters. Same with David DeCastro. He also gets a special boost because he's a guard. He gets 76 speed plus 14 boost on that. Six foot five, 316. So he's never going to get beat. Same here with the pass blocking stats. They're just through the roof, run blocking, meh. It's just a 98 which means that it's terrible, you shouldn't use it. Just kidding, it's just an awesome card here again. The reason why these guards, same with Russ Grime over here, Russ Grimm over here rather, gets a boost is because this red tornado, he gives a boost to the left guard and right guard, plus seven agility, plus four speed, plus seven acceleration, and plus one run block finesse. That one doesn't matter, but I mean, these cars that just boosted all the way through the roof and it was expensive getting these not gonna lie to you but i'm just having so much fun with these i get threat detector and puller elite i was thinking about going with secure protector on that one as well but threat detector is just such a good ability and if you get it for one ap you should definitely put it on your guy gary zimmerman and willie anderson they have post up and secure protector and uh, gary zimmerman has identified and also secure protector. Now, why am I telling you guys that this was worth it, even though these three guys in the middle here, they cost about 800K a piece, and these guys on the outside about 450K a piece. The reason why it is worth it is because these guys are psychic. You will see this in a second, which I'll go into the practice mode and show you why this is so good. So we'll go into options, controller select, just making sure that I have both controllers selected. If you guys were wondering how you can do this, just go in here and turn the second controller on when you're on the screen. Now I can accept it. I'm currently running the Jets offensive playbook and the Chiefs defensive playbook. I'll just come on and halfback wheel for now. Halfback wheel. And we will call 3-2 DB fire 2. Baseline press. Now please ignore the lighting up guys. This is just insane. But I will snap the ball and you see that I'll step up. And right there it didn't work. It sometimes has a little bit to do with kind of passing off on the outside of the uh, like on the tackles i'll just block the running back for now and you'll see that i am able to just have the perfect pocket maniac is lit up which means that he's just gonna shed uh actually never mind i'm just gonna let me just throw the ball just to make sure that we don't have maniac lighting up and milkman lighting up anymore because that would just be crazy for the entire video but I just have to block the running back this time I'm gonna block flash and then I can realistically do anything else with my blocking and I'm gonna have fun I don't know why that just came in so gosh darn quickly dollar is still just a very very good uh, blitz maybe I if I blocked on then I'm good yeah I'm perfectly fine this time just gonna hit uh, read down the middle of course your opponent is gonna make adjustments throughout the game but this just to show how awesome this is now does this mean that you don't have to do any adjustments for example uh, I don't have to slide anymore if I block the running back that's fine I usually would still have to slide protect to make sure it doesn't come in if I had a worse O-line no you still have to kind of understand okay if they're sending dollar then I'm, I'm gonna have to block someone for example if they uh, if they only send four this is going to get picked up and I have the perfect pocket. So if they send four, 
then it's fine. Then I don't have to block anyone because the offensive line just gets out there so quickly. I'm actually going to go into instant replay because you're going to see exactly what I mean. I snap the ball and you see how quick he is out there. Maniac is fast. He takes such a wide angle, but he's just not able to get around, which means that actually the guard is the one that's picking that's picking up the cornerback and that's what's kind of crazy about it because the guard is fast enough to pick up the corner and the tackle is not getting run around by maniac who's got like 90 plus speed as well so he's just <laughs> crazy crazy fast send only the cornerback on the right you will see that on the right it seems like we're having a little bit more difficulty that's actually something that i've noticed right there so if he's sending the blitz from the right you might need to put my guy in a blocking assignment but then it's just like very simple and then you can just freestyle off of this you will see that i have the blitz perfectly picked up and i'll throw the corner out if you want an ebook on this by the way let me know in the comments below i just really wanted to highlight that two million coins plus for an offensive line is insane i get that but this has totally been worth it in my opinion because I'm going to be honest with you, you don't really notice the performance on wide receivers. Like Randy Moss might be the one exception where you have a wide receiver and he's just crazy better than the rest of the field. But I am very content uh, with Reed, with Edelman and with Bolden. I'm going to upgrade those guys soon. Don't worry about it. I'm saving up some coins. 550k I got right now. I'm going to play some seasons. So that's going to get up there as well. But offensive line, in my opinion... That's where you're gonna notice a huge difference. If you don't wanna spend two, co two million coins, or if you don't have two million coins, get that 100%. It is a large sum of coins. It's very expensive to get this offensive line, but it's just been so worth it for my, in my opinion that I just wanted to share this with you guys. Let's not even talk about the running game. Like the run game is just amazing with all the abilities that I get. That's so many yards. And because my guards are speed boosted, they have plus 14 speed. So they're 75, 76 speed. That now means that I have big bodied uh, offensive guards that just like make it through the middle of the field like so easily. And there are a lot of runs in this scheme, in this scheme that I want to use that I use pulling guards, which is why it's very important to me to just have some people in here that are just good at blocking. You see my guy with puller lead, he just cleans out the middle of the field, making it so easy for me to run through. Let's do this again, boom. Right there, he actually kind of whiffed, but that's cool. Sometimes that's just gonna happen. Another card that I can recommend to you guys, Flash Gordon, not, not Flash Gordon, uh, Cordell Patterson. He's just called Flash, I don't know why. Flash Gordon makes way more sense, but whatever. Phenom, get it on him, it's a great ability. It's just, it's it's like Fright Train, but it also activates on run plays, which is just, my God, <laughs> that's, that's just rough. So that's like a free tip for you guys. I mean, it's not really a free tip. You guys probably already know how crazy Phenom is. But that's kind of my lineup update for you guys. I wanted to talk about why I'm spending 2 million coins on my offensive line. It sounds crazy, but if you're going to try it which i don't know if you have a friend who has a lineup and you can maybe share that lineup i'm not recommending lineup sharing because it's against the terms of service but if you wanted to do that it's a possibility you're gonna see why it matters and on defense this is where i'm having a little bit more problems because like it's not as good as my offense now with this offensive line which is just going crazy but yeah, this defense has made some upgrade. I'm going to also talk about my defense and the abilities that I'm using shortly. That's going to be a next upcoming video because I, I've been having a lot of success with that. Just be patient, you guys. I know I've been kind of lazy, but these videos are going to be very helpful to you guys. They're going to give you like an insight on what I'm thinking when I'm running defense because I'm currently on a two Super Bowl winning streak in Legends Division. So I may be on a heater. You guys definitely want to learn from me. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to follow my social media because sometimes I make tweets. Sometimes I post pictures on Instagram and it's just very, very cool. If you guys are there to support me, that will mean a lot to me. I'm going to try to stream a little more over here on YouTube. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss that. But yeah, I'm out of here. Peace.